Hi guys, welcome back to my nail obsession. So today I'm going to be doing a review and test on the Mia Secret acrylic system. So I got my um, acrylic system from Amazon. Um, it was about $17. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, and what I got in the kit was a liquid monomer. Now this liquid monomer is 8 ounces. I also got a um, multi-balanced natural pink acrylic powder. And this is two ounces. And then also I got a two ounce um, bottle of clear acrylic powder, like this. Okay, and then separately I got the Extra Bond, which is an acrylic um, primer. So this is Extra Bond. I got this and I believe this was about eight, nine dollars extra. So in all I spent about maybe 25 $25, $27. If you want to see what I thought about the Mia Secret Acrylic System, then just keep on watching. So today for this um, review, I'm going to be using the pink acrylic, the liquid monomer, and also I'm going to be using the Extra Bond um, acrylic primer. And from Gelish, I'm going to be using the pH Bond, which is a dehydrator. So I'm going to start out by dehydrating my nails. I dehydrate my nails twice just because to make sure I get all the oil off. It's just my preference. You don't have to do this, but I do it. Um, so that's just what I'm doing. I'm just going through twice and dehydrating my nail. Next, I'm going to prime my nail, and I only prime my nail once. So next, that's what I'm just doing now. I'm going to be taking this Kalinske brush. I got it from my local nail supply. And I'm going to take a medium to large bead. I think it's a fairly large bead of acrylic. Um, so as you see here, I picked up way too much acrylic, way more than I'm used to working with, and it just ran all over the place. Like I said, it's not a fast drying acrylic, so I did have trouble um, getting it under control. I had to wipe a lot of it off my brush. Um, so you can see me now just um, patting it down and getting the shape right uh, to my liking to the best of my ability and I'm just gonna go and through and do all the rest of my nails so I'm just doing all the rest of my nails to the best of my ability <laughs> since I wasn't used to working with such a slow drying acrylic um, for me in my opinion I just decided to turn my um, finger downward to help the product move up the nail so that's the technique that I'm trying um, for the second nail here and um, for the rest of my nails as well <music>
all in all, I think that it was a wonderful um, product. I think that the Mia Secret is a great um, system to have if you are on a budget, if you do your own nails because you don't need a license to get it. Um, you can just order it straight off Amazon. So if you do your own nails and you're not licensed, um, then you can get it off Amazon. And if you are nail tech on a budget, you can get this um, for an affordable price. Um, the only thing I would say is that the pink acrylic I used in this video is not pink like I thought it was going to be. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't have a pink hue in person. I mean, on camera, you see a bit of a pink hue, but in person, it just looks clear. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing your acrylic. Um, just know that the pink, the multi-balance pink is doesn't have that much of a pink um, hue you may want to go with one of their other cover um, acrylics like a, a true pink one um, I don't know what options they have but I know that they do have some colored um, acrylics so you can look into um, purchasing another pink if you want the acrylic to be more pink um, that's the only thing that I didn't really like about the acrylic is that it wasn't pink enough but other than that it was a great great um, review and experience and I will be using this acrylic system going forward the nails look after I filed and shaped them to my liking um, they look really good I'm really happy with the results so all in all I think that the Mia, Mia secret acrylic system is a very good system especially for the affordable price um, it is for beginners it is um, slow drying so it gives you time to work with the acrylic it's not fast drying so you have time to get your your placement right and things like that so I think that that's a plus um, but if you're not um, used to like running acrylics and stuff um, you will have to get used to it like I did um, I had a acrylic from my local um, nail supply that dried much faster so I wasn't used to working with such such runny acrylic um, and it may be the amount of monomer I have on my brush as well but that is not a flat fast drying acrylic um, but all in all it's a very very good good acrylic system if you want to try it out again the link is down below if you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe thank you for watching bye Mwah.